from Hollywood, it's the Tom Micah Show. We're trying to help the children. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Micah. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Micah Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing racket or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-DUMP. 1-800-5800-866. Well, once again, I'm looking at the Today Show's website, todayshow.com. And once again, I'm looking at the advice column of one Dr. Gail Saltz, who, God forbid, I should ever get up in the morning and watch the Today Show. But she is apparently uh, a regular contributor to the Today Show. And then people write in with questions. Now, I just want to say, uh, for a long time on this program, I've been advocating uh, the concept of the trophy wife. I've been advocating pumping them and dumping them. I've been advocating, uh, you know, uh, really not uh, getting committed. And uh, here, in, in this letter right here, is one of the great reasons to not, to not get involved in a serious relationship for any period of time. Like getting married. Now listen to this letter. We don't have to read the whole response. Because really what's important is, if you get married, this is one of the things you don't think about when you get married, folks. This is one of the things that can happen to a woman down the line. You know, there are certain cars that have certain defects. They get recalled by the manufacturer. This this is a defect in every one of these vehicles. And you can't get it fixed. You know, I like to compare women to cars. Here's the question, the comment, the letter. Menopause. And hot flashes have taken my sex life away. My wife is 54 and started menopause at 46. For the past eight years, it has been like I am married to my sister. I am not allowed to touch her because she says that would bring on a hot flash. There is no physical contact and what makes it worse is I love her so much <laughs> we have been together 27 years and I cannot imagine being with another woman if you lined up all the women in the world I would still pick her she is so beautiful, and it is torture not being able to hold the one you love. <laughs> I think about sex with her all the time, and I'm frustrated and sad, and now I feel unwanted. I do not want a divorce and do not want to start my life over. I want my wife back. I have lost hope that will ever happen. And do not know how to adjust. I do not think I could go the rest of my life without being able to hold and cuddle and make love to someone who will love me back the way I would want her to. What can I do? <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine that's you? There you are. Like a dope, falling in love like a dope, getting married like a dope. Agreeing to forsake all others, as they say in the marriage vows. Imagine you've done that. And then that menopause starts kicking in. And she starts being a bitch on wheels. And she starts telling you she doesn't want to have sex with you. 
And now you're stuck because you're married and you're in your 40s or 50s or whatever. And there you are, Mr. Loyal, Mr. Monogamous. This is what you get in return. Now, you see, if the guy who wrote this letter had followed my rules, he wouldn't have this problem. First of all, he'd be married to somebody much, much younger. Ten years minimum. So if uh, if uh, she was going to start menopause, he'd be a lot older than he is today. Also, if you pump them and dump them, if you're constantly upgrading the way I upgrade my Lexus every couple of years, you know, the women get younger and younger. Actually, the women stay the same age and I get older and older. That is ideal. The thing that women complain about in the movies that, you know, Al Pacino is 70 years old and he's always in movies with younger and younger women. That's how you want your life to be. Clint Eastwood, you know what I'm talking about, Robert De Niro. They keep being in movies with women who are even younger than they are. The difference is getting greater and greater. and They keep making movies like this and people keep paying to see it. You want your life to be like the characters in those movies. You ought to be 70 with a 32-year-old girlfriend. You ought to be 60 with a 25-year-old girlfriend. That is what you want. That is what you want. It's that simple. You know, if you followed my rules, you wouldn't be in this position of your wife having menopause and you having to sit it out. Sit it out for all that time. Eight years of no sex. Eight years. That's the reward you get for being loyal. That's the reward you get for paying for everything. That's the reward you get for staying despite all the hot chicks who have chased you, who have thrown themselves at you. This is what you get. Think I'd ever marry a menopausal woman? Think again. Never. 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 Ver. You want to have menopause? Wait till after I'm dead. Won't be having it now. Another good reason to, if you're going to get married, marry a woman much younger than you. Another good reason not to get married. Another good reason to pump them and dump them. Am I wrong? 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I make six figures, and I'm a big guy, but I tell you, when they see the wad, they're all over me. Which wad is that? (laughs) The cash wad. How well hung is your wallet? It's very well hung. It's the Tom Likas Show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. And uh, just read a little story about a guy who's suffering through his wife's menopause. Another good reason not to get married, for God's sake. Arena, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. You plan to speak to me? I'm sorry. Hello. You don't have the radio on in the background, do you? Okay, I turn it off. Didn't Dino tell you to do that? No. Yes, he did. Well, actually, it's turned off. Uh, I need. I I just want to comment on uh, your statement that guys at sixty need to get girls twenty five. That's fine. If you're seventy, you want to get thirty one year old or thirty years old. That's that's totally fine. If you are able to. Because at that age, if a guy doesn't buy a girl, nobody's going to want to be with a 71-year-old. Darling, it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter because to buy, to buy, which is what kind of life, what kind of life are you living with 
all lies. Your life is all lies. What, what part is a lie? I tell the truth about my life. You know what I do for a living, and you know I make a lot of money. Actually, I do not know anything about you. The only thing is that I recently started listening to your show maybe a week or so, and I get the impression that you're very bitter because, I mean, you want why to would you? Why what do I have to be bitter about? I'm sorry, let me talk. No, 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 don't tell me how to do the show. What would I be bitter about? I, I have a, I'm a multimillionaire. I, I make a, I make a seven-figure annual salary, which no, means it's over a million dollars a year. Girl, I'm sorry. No quality girl would respect a person lying all the time or being with someone just because of their money. I don't care. About well, darling, I'm, I'm, with money, I'm with those girls just because. Darling, I'm with those girls just because of their looks. That's the reason I'm with them. I'm sorry. I'm with those girls just because of their looks. Yeah, that's fine. But and you I to, you love have it. To buy the looks, darling. I don't have if to buy them. If you're seventy, you're gonna buy the looks at thirty years old. Nobody's gonna want to be with you if you're. Darling, 70. everybody's buying them. Every man out there is paying for the woman to be with him. Every man out there. Every. But you're contradicting yourself by saying that don't buy them anything. No, I'm not contra I'm not 71 years old yet, dear. But uh, every man out there is paying. I'm going to pay as late as possible. Well, uh, I don't think you're going to have somebody as long as you want to if you don't start paying. And uh, I just want I don't to have to pay and I'm not going to pay. I'll pay I'll pay later. And by the way, uh, just look at an actuarial table, dear. Uh the later I start paying, the less it will cost. Well, uh this is my personal opinion that you don't want to Who else's opinion would you express? And what kind of course of it's your personal you? opinion. I'm sorry? I said of course it's your personal opinion. Who else's opinion would you be expressing? Well, a lot of people think that way because only low quality people are going to uh, build their life on lies and are going to go with somebody. Darling, I'm not saying I'm not saying that I darling, my life is not built on lies. You don't understand. My life is not built on lies. Everybody knows my life. They hear it on the radio. They know who I am. That's what I recommend to guys out there who are having a hard time getting laid. Tell any lie you have to tell. Do whatever you have to do. Well, that's why they get they get whatever they get because they don't they don't get the. But they like people. what they're getting because guess what? They're not having to pay for it. Well, uh, I I just want to say that I totally disagree. So quality I women I are women like do, you who expect to get pay. paid. A lot of people do pay for it. Which you is, expect to get paid too. Which is. They still get some, somebody. See, you expect to get paid. You expect to get paid, don't you? I'm sorry? You expect to be paid. Excuse me, no. I have a boyfriend, and he doesn't have to make a lot of money. Or he but he pays for things for money. you. But he pays for things for you. Well, uh, it's. It's not that he has to or... Sure or he does. If he you didn't... Have make, you have to make guys to pay for... Uh, if he didn't you, pay, if he didn't pay... To, I'm sorry, uh, you're, you're just not... If he didn't... Right. Darling... Hey, this is my show, and if I want to interrupt, I will. And if you don't like it, listen to another show. And the bottom line, dear, is if he doesn't pay, he's not your boyfriend. You're going to say he's cheap. Excuse me? I just said, if uh, he doesn't pay for things, you're going to complain about it. Well, uh, it's not that he's cheap, but cheap are people who are buying one night stand by paying money. That's that's the quality of. So he has to pay for you over the course of time. He has to pay part of your rent, or he has to pay for some of your groceries, or he has to take you to dinner. So he's paying little by little every month. Well, uh, like I said. If you're getting somebody just for one night to be late, and and uh, that's what you're telling guys to do, it means that that's the quality of a girl that you're getting. Yeah, Which you're is, hot. Equals, it equals, hot. Hot girls. Hot girls. That's the quality we're getting. Hot girls. Yeah, cheap, cheap girls. Who cares? Hot, I'm hot concerned girls. about hot. 
Are you hot? That's fine. That's fine if you want to. Are, like are you hot? Are you hot? Then it means that. Are you hot? You are. You are. are you hot? And the Funny how you don't want to answer that question. You're pretending not to hear my question. Are you hot? I I am very good looking, and it doesn't really matter because I don't think so. I wouldn't pay attention. Doubt I it. Wouldn't even pay attention to any guy like that. Again, and I'm just very sorry for you. You're just not that hot. This is only, this is only what I want to tell you. You're that just I'm not that sorry. hot. I'm sorry? You're just not that hot. How do you know? I, you don't know me. Because you're... the guy you're dating doesn't make that much money. How do you know that guy? What do you, you look don't, like? You don't, you don't know that Let's guy. Let's get down to brass tacks. What do you look like? I'm sorry? What do you look like? It doesn't matter because yes, it does. I just don't respect guys. The uh, way, the yeah, you prove my point. You it. are you are not that hot anyway. Anyway, I'm. I just thinking. I just I just want to express my opinion, and I don't care. Well, about hang on a second, Caden. What did you want to say to Arena? Beer, old Caden, old guy. That's Go it. Go ahead, Caden. I wanted to say bye bye. Oh, hang it up, you coward. Hello? No, uh, hello? No, she hung up, as, as any cowardly female would on this program. She hung up. Oh, that one. But you can, because you know she's still listening. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, I, I just want to let you know, ma'am, you're full of crap uh, about the the whole thing with uh, women aren't going to go for the guys who have money and that that's not really what they care about. Because I'm pretty sure that, you know, when you're actually wanting to go ahead and get a guy that's like 70 years old, you're not going there because you have the massive pecs. You're not going there because you think that they're like, you know, the coolest guy. You're probably going because you're thinking, oh, my God, there's another Bill Gates. Okay, so, you know, I just want to let you know, ma'am, you're full of crap. And, uh, yeah, you're probably just not getting any. So That's uh, what I think. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much all I want. And her boyfriend is a goon and doesn't make any money because she's homely. No. Yeah. I totally that's the bottom that line. Thing. <laughs> and we all know it's true. It is. I, you know, I, I don't disagree with you on that. You know, I, I'm actually in California right now. Uh, you're the, well, technically, this is the first time I've ever actually listened to your show. Uh, one of the guys that I'm driving with, his name's Roger. He's a huge fan. And, uh, yeah, he told me to go ahead and call. And then once I heard this lady on the phone, I was just like, oh, my God, I really do have to call. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> just, you know, it, it is. It's one of those things where, you know, there's so many girls out there right now where, you know, they're not they're not looking for a guy that is, you know, nice, kind, you know, considerate. They're they're looking for a guy who's, you know, having the money. They're looking for the guys who are, you know, willing to support them in any which way. I mean, that's what divorce is all about. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so I understand where you're coming from. All right. Uh, thank you for that, Caden. Not a problem. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Anna on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, my love. How are you? Doing great, dear. Tom, you know what? I'll tell you what I would do if I were with a 70-year-old man. I'd probably take all his money because I know he'd want to give me some for my com for companionship. And I'd go out with other guys and just have a good time. There we go. And that's the truth. It's the total truth. And I'm a hot Latina. I'm beautiful. You want to know what I look like? Yeah. I'm about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, no, about 5'7 and a half. I have big boobies. You like the really? boobies, Tom? You know I do. Uh-huh. My boyfriend loves them, too. I'll bet. They're not real, but you know what? They're big, and he just can't stay away from them. Look at that. I'm a little thick, but I'm not a fat girl. Really? I have, I have pretty legs. Pretty skin, and mm -hmm. a smile. Is am that I, so? Am I turning you on? Darling, you have a boyfriend. I do have a boyfriend, but it doesn't matter. Is it turning you on? Because I want some of your money, too. Oh, uh, no. No, darling. You're not getting any of my money, dear. Oh, Tom, come on. Now, come back to me when I'm 71. I will. All right, dear. <laughs> Thank you. Jill on the Tom Likas show. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, I have to agree with you. I think men are paying for it all the time. Of course we are. When you're going to dinner, you're going to the movies, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. I love these women who, who tell me that uh, I'm going to be lonely because I'm not willing to pay. Well, I, I should. They, uh, on the one hand, they say, how do you feel that women only want you for your money? And then they tell me that women only want us for our money. <laughs> 
and you know you see the old guy in the club and he's got these, you know, these girls with these short shorts and the mini skirts. Right. And he's got table service, and the women are all around him. And they're, he might not even spend money on them, but they're there for the hope, the glimpse of it. Right. And I, I think if guys would maybe go to a club and pull their money together and get table service for a night, even if they're broke-ass guys, they would see the difference in the w- way that women pay attention to them. Yes. Even if they don't buy those girls any drinks, but just to, to let the girls sit at the table with them. And, you know, it's, I see it all the time. I, I work at a dealership where guys buy expensive cars. They buy it to show the women. That's exactly right. And that, that woman, she's just living in her own world, and she's probably not one of the hot women. Oh, I, I, you know she, you know she's as homely as uh, as can possibly be, <laughs> with a big fat mole on her face and some hair growing out. Of right, her. you know the type. <laughs> she, she's best friends with her waxing lady because yes. she's so hairy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice night, Tom. Blow me up. Here you go, Jill. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Is our telephone number? It's Mary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? Um. Hello. It's a. I guess it's a, a statement. A How statement. You doing, Tom? Hello. I'm doing great. Good. Um. Would you like me to start with my question? You called me, dear. I know, hon. Okay, here's, I have a dilemma, okay? I'm 40 years old, so I'm no, no spring chicken, but um, by uh, today's standards, I'm pretty hot. And um, I'm having a hard time even getting asked out. And I, I'm the kind of girl I feel like uh, I don't want a guy to pay my way. I own a house. I'm not rich. I work hard. Um, but, uh, I want to be able to bring, you know, something to the table. I don't want to be taken care of. I've had that, uh, kind of situation. I was married. I had that situation. And, uh, do you have any pointers for me? I don't Are you hot, guys, dear? Guys. Are you hot? I am hot. Hot. I mean, eight, nine. Honestly, Tom, I am hot. You are? I am. I'm very sexy. So I, why um, wouldn't guys approach you? Why don't they? Maybe I don't allow myself to be approachable, but I don't want to meet guys in the bars. I, you know, I meet these guys and know they're in love and they want to move in, or I find these losers that want to, you know, mooch off me and and uh, or you know, they, I just I don't want to be uh, one of the you know. This, I mean, I know you, you how you talk and you don't mind the sexually transmitted diseases, but that no, it's not that I don't mind me. sexually transmitted diseases. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I just I don't worry about them. I use condoms. Right, now, and that's smart. But is it silly of me to think that I should want a guy to get to know me? Um, yes. You know, and have some kind of a rapport? Is that just stupid on my part? Yes. <laughs> yes. Now, now we're getting to the bottom of why you're not getting laid, dear. That's it, huh? Well, it's really not just that I'm not getting laid. I mean, I can get, I can get laid. Yeah, but guys, I, the point is. <laughs> Uh, the guys think the opposite way of women, okay? Uh, okay. First, we need to have sex. We okay. don't We don't hear a word you say until we have sex with you. Okay. So if you're sitting there trying to get a good rapport going, get a good conversation okay. going, you're wasting your time because you're talking to somebody who's just going, uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh. <laughs> because all you're they can so think hot. about. That's what I hear. You're so All hot. they can think about is getting inside you. That's it. Okay. Well, you know, what if what if you don't mind them getting inside? Maybe it's just you want to be maybe exclusive. Is that stupid, too? Well. Or asking a little too much? Well, dear, at your age, in this day and age, uh, yeah, you're asking for a lot. And the kind of guy right. who would be interested in that might be a little slow for you. Right. You probably right. like to have big fun, and guess what? Uh, the guys were like that. You would meet at church socials, okay, in the basement <laughs> of your local church. That's cute. And that's not the kind of guy you let you would like to date. Right, right. So if you okay. want guys who like to have fun, guess what? Guys who like to have fun uh, like uh-huh. to have fun and don't like you telling them what the limits are. 
Okay, well, no, I don't want to tell them what the limits are. I just don't Well, by want... saying you want an exclusive relationship, you've just given them the biggest limit of all. Right, they're going to run like heck. Right, and that's what's been happening, has it? Well, actually, I've, I've taken a, a time off. I just told my, you know, chose to not date for a while because I was picking uh, losers, you know? So, well, um, darling, if you I were guess... stopped, if stopping so hell-bent on having a relationship and just enjoy yourself. Okay. Have some fun. And... You know, what I recommend to guys, I recommend to you, why don't you just have a little bullpen of guys who you call in uh, who fit the appropriate task at hand. Okay. One's your booty call. One is the guy who cleans up well and can go to a like a Christmas party at your company okay. with you. Okay. Uh, one guy's a good traveling companion. Okay. One guy likes watching chick flicks. He's probably gay. Uh, but, yeah. you, but you know what I'm talking about. In other words, don't try to have one guy be one-stop shopping. Have five or six guys who you use for a variety of reasons. And and by not uh, hit, hitting at them all the time, uh, your call is a pleasant surprise. Okay, so is it okay for me to go out and expect a guy to, you know, buy me dinner? I mean, to because uh, I don't, I'm not like On the air, dear, you can't use that word. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, is that is that okay to just go out and just, okay, we're going to have a good time and, yes. you know, I'm, 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 I'm putting it out there and you're going to, I'm basically, you're going to pay. I mean. Uh, well, not, darling, why is that, the, why is that the important thing? No, it's not. It's not. I'm well, then why do you even bring it up? I'm just curious. I guess Can't you just go out and whoever that? pays, pays? Because, you see, the more restrictions, the more rules you put on it, uh -huh. the more you are reducing your opportunities. Okay. Okay. If I uh, email you a picture of me, will you give me an honest opinion of what? Uh, you don't uh, want an know honest know. opinion. You don't want an honest opinion from me about yeah, that. I do. I, I'm not uh, scared. I think for 40 years old, I'm pretty... Pretty, uh, but you understand, I don't, I don't grade on a bell curve, dear. No, there is no curve. It's either you're hot or you're not. Right, but I mean, you could be 18, 40, or 60. I grade okay. on one scale. Oh, okay. So okay. you may not want my response. I do. I actually do. I'm going to email you my picture, and we'll see what you have you've got the turkey neck or the menopausal mustache, i got to tell you. No, absolutely not. You're losing points for that. I look better than most of the 20-year-olds I see. And we'll, we'll see. Hang on a second. Jesse, what did you want to say to Mary? Hey, look, let me tell you something about this gank right here, right? <laughs> she the air. She's over here talking about how fine she is, how she can get anybody she wants, who's paying for what. I got houses. I got this. Yo, baby, look, you're way past your expiration date, all right? You're right. You're right. You, what you need to do, baby, is have a good time. You know, uh -huh. get with somebody. Get with somebody with the like this one on one mentality that'll uh -huh. really give it to you right. That'll really show you a good time. And okay. look, they're not out there to waste your time. Because see, here's the thing: we're not out there to BS you. We're not right. out there to to lie to you. Because we don't have to. You okay, know what you want. We know what we want. Enjoy yourself and stop trying to pretend. You know that. You know. You know what you got to do. That's, you're looking for opinions. That's why you're calling the show. That's all right? right. Have a right. good time. Forget about all that. You're hot. You're not whatever. You okay. know, just enjoy yourself, baby. Stop okay. trying to find a little Okay. Can, can you call me something other than skank, though? <laughs> hey, you know what? That's what you sound like. He's baby. got plenty of adjectives. Oh, okay. I see you. I don't know what you are. You know what I mean? Are you Italian? <laughs> <laughs> you like that, huh? I'm Puerto Rican. Uh, Puerto Rico. All right, baby. Okay, well, thank you. All right, for your Tom, opinion. take me out. Take me out, Kobe style, baby. All I don't right, have time for this. Jesse, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 1 800 5800 Tom. Lawrence, what did you want to say to Mary here? Hey, all right. She sounds like a cool chick, but uh, she's looking to get laid. Why don't she pay for dinner? Oh, I do. I have. Oh, I have no then, problem uh, with that. Then you uh, say you're uh, looking for something exclusive, but every guy that uh, wants a commitment, you back away from. Yeah, you probably. Right. Yeah. You got you to get your head straight. Yeah, you're right. I think I will just go out and have a little fun and then uh, try and do a little like a style. That's right. So throw me in okay. that 
Okay. Okay. All I'm right. Sorry, I didn't hear that last comment. Uh, yeah, he hadn't said anything there. Let's get Sid on. Sid, what do you want to say to Mary? Well, I just want to say if if you that fine, I think it's because you kind of conceded the reason why cats don't want to holler at you because you already put off this vibe like you think you're the sugar honey iced tea. So it's like, <laughs> don't nobody want to say nothing to you because it's like you're putting off this vibe like, oh yeah, I'm already all that when oh, yeah. you were 10, take, but you really seven. That. You know what I'm saying? I'll take that into consideration and kick my attitude down a notch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, because guys, cause guys, you know what I'm saying? Hello? We're Hello? here. He's got the radio turned on there. Hey, uh, Sid, Mary, thank you for the call. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You can have an opinion. I just don't want to know what it is. Why is that? Because I just want you to put your left leg at the 12 and your right leg at the 3. Oh, 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 that is so irritating to hear you say that. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like a show, one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That is our telephone number. We started this hour reading from the Today Show's website, todayshow.com, and the Today Show contributor, Dr. Gail Salt, who received a letter to her advice column on the website from a guy who uh, hasn't had sex with his wife in eight years because she's going through menopause. It's like, you know, if you followed my steps. You wouldn't be in this position. And if she starts having the hot flashes, it's time to kick her to the curb. What are you doing? You need to go younger and younger, boys. Bottom line, some people get pissed when I say that. I don't know why. Best way to keep a marriage fresh, keep getting remarried. Take it from me. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Eliana, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Long time, first time. Long time listener, first time caller. I got to call you on something. You going to call me? You said every. You're real good about... Oh, yeah, men do pay. There's no doubt we pay. Every time? Yeah, we do. Men pay. That's one of the everys. Every time men pay. Uh, every every man pays. I didn't say every single time, but every man pays. In the aggregate, men pay. Mm, I can't agree with you on the every. I like it when you say generally. I even like I know you do, men. but I didn't generalize about women. I generalized about men, and I'm telling you, it's generally true. Generally true. I'm t- generally. Dear, men pay. Now, Not maybe, did you... Time. All right, did you find the one freeloader? No, I found the guy that's got his act together. Does he pay? Not for me. I pay for me. He pays for him. So he never pays for anything? For him. For you, ever? Every time. So do you live together? Yep. Who pays the rent? He pays his part. I pay my part. Which is 50%, right? Correct. 50-50. Correct. Electric bill? Pardon me? How about the electric bill? All utilities, 50-50. 50-50. Cable TV, 50-50. Everything. Everything is 50-50. Everything. We just went on vacation to California. I paid my part. He paid his part. Which is 50-50. 50-50. We'd make the same income. So you never pay more than he does, and he never pays more than you do? No, we 50-50. Oh, boy, there's the exception to the rule right there. Hey, broken clocks right twice a day. You're exactly right about that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Andy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, yes. Yeah. I'm here. I know. Why, you want me to go on? Why did you call? Oh, Tom, Tom, I didn't know I was talking to you. Well, first of all, I want to say I love your show, and I want to say how's it hanging? And I love the subject you brought up for today. And um, I have a certain, um, well, I agree with you on regard to uh, if you have money, it says no money, no honey. And that's definitely true. And I'm saying that from a personal experience. And um, I was just going to say it like in a couple seconds real quick. Uh, I picked up my sister and her friends from my restaurant. I took the company's car, which is a Honda, and I locked one of her friends. 
She won't give me her phone number. And two weeks later, we meet at a mutual friend's party, a birthday party. I roll in with my Mercedes. I'm all dressed up. And guess who in 10 minutes comes to me with a drink saying, do you remember me? <laughs> I swear to you. I was like, whoa, it's kind of bad and good. You know, you get laid, but you're thinking to yourself, did I get laid because of the Mercedes? What if I've sold it the day before? You know what I'm thinking? But I'm like, it's, that's it. That's the, that's the way it is. No money, no honey. And I totally agree with you. And anybody that says different, believe me not. And if you don't pay for the women that with you on a date, automatically you don't love me. And then um, we had this thing um, back in high school in regards to women. If you take a woman on a date, if you pay 100 up to 100 um, you're going to get everything but laid. If you pay $200 on a date, you know you're going to get laid. That was our high school thing. Well, all I'm going to say is, that, <laughs> <laughs> is see, women, I don't care if women want to be with me for my money. I'm not giving them any money, so therefore I don't care. My money, my money represents a, a level of achievement, a level of accomplishment. It is the representation of all the hard work I've put in, all my creativity. My money is me. If people want to be with me because I've got money, that's fantastic. Just don't expect me to give it to you. Oh, definitely. Uh, you're not, not going to be a sugar daddy for like uh, for a while. But, you know, sometimes for one day to get what you want and let it go. You know what I mean? Because it's, after all, you just said it. The money you're making it for you. For your own pleasure, and if your own pleasure requires, you know, spend an extra bill to get where you want, yes, but more than that, more than that day, that night, if it goes on, then there you go. You're right. I'm with you 100%. Well, thank you so much for that. <laughs> thank you so much. It's a time and go on. It's the best show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andy. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Renee on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Great. I just said to Dino that the only thing, I like listening to your show. You and I are the same age, same birthday, so we got that in common. The difference is I've been married for 33 years, have three kids, happily married. The only thing is, you just said, kick those women to the curb that are having the hot flash. Right. Okay, well, I was just having a hot flash, so I had to call and tell you that. Oh, you were having a hot flash at the time. I'm not going to the curb, though. We've been... Married for 33 years and... Well, look, you got to, my, it's my way or the highway. If I want sex, you give it to me. I don't want to hear hot flashes as an excuse. Hey, my husband doesn't hear hot flashes. Well, the, uh, the uh, letter I read uh, from the guy who watches the Today Show, uh, that guy said his wife won't have sex with him because she's afraid of having hot flashes. That's nothing to do with it. That's just an excuse. Well, I agree that it's an excuse, but that's what she said. No, that's fine, but I just thought it he was He should funny. dump her ass, get some young, <laughs> fresh meat. I have da a daughter that you'd probably want to eat. Is that so? And you know what? She probably knows who's on the third line in Chicago, because she's a hockey fan. We're Canadian. Wow, is she hot, too? Oh, she's a doll. <laughs> <laughs> Then you'd have me as a mother-in-law. See, that would be... <laughs> oh, boy. And you having the hot flashes. <laughs> but anyway, you're a lot of fun to listen to. Well, thank you, Renee. All righty. Thanks, Tom. I'm here I'm here to keep you company during your hot flashes here. Edward on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's cracking, man? Somebody's ass as soon as I get out of here. <laughs> Look, all right. I believe that men pay. Don't get me wrong, right? Men do pay. But do you pay? You you, you contradict yourself to all the time, man. Eh? How so? Yeah. I'm right yeah. here, of course. Okay, because you say every man pays. And then you say you don't pay. Right. You got to pay, man. You ain't got it like that, do you? No, I don't have to pay. Come on, man. Keep it real, man. No, but here's how. Here's how. No, but I'm going to tell you how I do it. By never staying around for long. Okay, women can walk into the bakery. They smell the bread baking. They smell the dough, and they so they come into the bakery and they hang out for a little while. Maybe somebody's going to give them a little piece of bread, so they hang out for a while. Uh, Ultimately, they don't get a piece of bread and they leave, and uh, some other chick uh, walks in. Keep it real, man. Oh, I'm keeping it you real. Said every man pays. Don't you're you pay? Do you pay? Hell yeah. I don't pay. Okay. But but let me tell you something, man. When it, when it comes to relationships, right, you don't have one. I feel you. That's your thing. I you try to pay. stay away from them because they cost too much.
the Tom Likas Show.